Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this one, I am going to share with you a few project templates that you can use to get started easily and have something you can work with that is fairly decent. I am going to give you two project templates. One is going to be based on Conan for dependency management and the other one is going to be using VC package. The project is going to be structured in a way that you can uh, have modules separated into libraries. For example, here you see our model. So we have library two, we have library one. We also have an arithmetic library just for the fun of it. These are going to be pulled into the core part of our application and core is also going to be modeled as a library. This core library is going to be linked into the entry point of the application. And this model is going to allow us to test all these components here. You can easily test lib1, you can easily test lib2, you can easily test arithmetic, you can easily test the core, and all the code that has been tested is going to be pulled into our entry point. You already know this idea, but I am going to give you a project that you can easily modify and work with. Here is the goals I had when I prepared these templates. The first idea is that I don't want something too complicated that is going to discourage you from using CMake for your C++ projects. There are a few things I deem very important that I bolt into these templates here. The first thing is that you should be able to edit your code in a fairly modern way with syntax highlighting. And this is something that is already provided by Visual Studio Code or any other self-respecting C++ IDE or editor. We should have an easy way to manage dependencies. And for this, these projects are going to be either using VC package or Conan. You can choose whatever you like. They are going to work equally well. We want a good code formatting, and for that, we will be using Clang format, as we have seen. We want the ability to generate the documentation, and for that, we will be using Doxygen, and we want to be able to test our applications. We have seen two frameworks we can use. We can use Google Test or Catch 2. They are also both good. You will choose whatever makes sense for your project. And we want our project to easily integrate in our editor or IDE that we are using. So we want a good debugging experience. We want a good testing experience. And this is something we have seen you can do inside Visual Studio Code. But don't feel pressured to use Visual Studio Code. It happens to be the thing I use, so it is what I am talking about here. But you can easily port all these ideas to C-Lion, the Visual Studio IDE from Microsoft, or any other self-respecting C++ development environment. So let's hop over to our editor and see our templates here. You can get the code from the GitHub repository. I am going to start by the VC package template here. Okay, it is loading. You see that I have built this project earlier. We have a build directory, but so we have a clean slate. Let's reveal the build directory and uh, remove everything from it. So let's do that so that we start from the same place. And uh, this project is going to be using CMake presets. It is the same preset file we have seen earlier. So nothing different here. But this project is going to be following this architecture here. So we have two libraries. We have a library, arithmetic, and all these libraries are going to be pulled into the core library that our main rooster target is going to link against. Again, the main rooster target is just going to contain the entry point or the main function. Let's see all these ideas here. We can go in the source folder. You see we have library one, library two, arithmetic. We also have main. Main is just a main CPP file, which is going to call the app function, which is wrapped into our core, if I remember correctly. Okay, it is wrapped here, but core has also its own stuff. You see we have a class inside core, which may have things inside it. So this is something you may need to look at. I just had to put in some code so that we have something to build with. Let's look at the code inside our app. You see, it is going to create a core class and uh, the core class is going to be trying to use things in our libraries. So we use library one, library two, and uh, arithmetic. If we go to the definition of use arithmetic here, 
you see that it's going to be calling our adding, subtracting, and multiplying functions here. And everything is going to fall in place. So we have the modules described in our diagram here. This is how our project is structured. Let's look at the CMake list.txt files that make up our project. So nothing special here. We are setting up the toolchain file for a VC package because this is using VC package for dependency management. We are setting up our module path. We enable testing because we want to be able to test this project. Because we are using VC package, we need to find the packages that we need. Okay, and this is a setting that is suggested by the Google testing library. We add our subdirectories, lib1, lib2, arithmetic. We add the core. We create our executable, which is going to be made up of the main CPP file. And then we link against the core library. And uh, the core library is in turn going to be linking against all the other libraries that we need. Again, we are following the architecture we have shown here. Let's go to the core library and show you that it is linking against these other libraries. You can see that we add that library here. We set up its include directories and it is going to link against lib1, lib2, arithmetic, and fmt because core needs to be able to print things nicely. This is what we have here. Okay, let's talk about the documentation. The documentation is powered by Doxygen and we are using the Doxygen add docs method, which is built in to generate our documentation. Here we have our settings and we are using these Doxygen CSS files to make our documentation look good. Nothing special here. You see they were downloaded, but if you delete them and configure again, these file commands will download the CSS files. These are things we have talked about earlier. Let's go to the test folder. It is going to be testing our code. You see, we are testing arithmetic. We are testing the core class and run app function. You see, we have the test for that here. We have the test for lib1 and we have the test for lib2. And the CMake list.txt file that is going to bring all these together is here. We have our unit test target. It is going to be made up of all these files and we need to link against core because it is what we are testing, but we also need our testing framework, which is going to give us a main function built in so that we, we don't have to test one of our own. And we make these unit tests available to the C test module of CMake. We also have a Clang format file, which is going to be used to format our code. If we go in the CMake folder here, you see that we have our own custom module, which is going to be adding a Clang format target to format our code. If you want, you can put your formatting customizations in the Clang format file, but it is just going to be based on Google, and this is fine. If you are not fine with this format, you can find another format you like, and it is going to be used by Clang format. This is really what we have. Let's try to choose a few presets. So command palette, select configure preset. This is the first thing we want to select. View command palette, select bold preset. Let's do that. Okay, we want Windows verbose bold. Let's select the test preset to be, hmm, select test preset, where is it? select test preset and we will use Windows Core test. And you can see that the choices we make there are going to be reflected in our status bar here. The status bar is visible because in my VS code folder, dot VS code folder to be exact, I have this line which instructs the status bar to be visible. Make sure you have it if you want this status bar here. And we can really build our project and see it running. So let's build. In the configuration stage, our dependencies are going to be downloaded by VC package because it is what we are using here. And if we do build again, it's going to build and we can run. If we run, we will run the rooster target by default and we can debug our application. So this is something very useful for your applications. Let's go in uh, core, let's go in source and go in core and go in core CPP and find our entry point. So you see, we can put a breakpoint here. And if we debug, 
our application is going to be plugged into the debugger and we will hit our breakpoint. We can see our locals, we can see our registers, we can really do all kinds of crazy things. The last thing I want you to see is that we can test this application in a nice way. Our tests are going to be visible to Visual Studio Code. And again, we don't see this for the first time, but if we close Visual Studio Code and open it again, my bet is that if we try to build again, the tests are going to be visible to Visual Studio Code here. Let's try to build again. Maybe there is something I miss in Visual Studio Code, but uh, this is what we have. Let's run C test and see if we get to see our tests. And uh, what is it saying? Unable to find executable hmm, unit test, but we have both our tests. We have both our tests. Okay, so what do we do here? Let's try to bolt. Okay, and close and open again. And if we run C test, let's try to run C test this time. Mm, unit test not to bolt. Why is that? But we have the tests. Let's see. Let's go to terminal and uh, go to build and see, do C test. Okay, let's explicitly build our unit tests. We can select the target here and say unit tests and build explicitly. Okay, now if we come here, let's see if we can see them. Close and open again and run C test. Now the tests are going to be discovered. And if we go here, we will see them. So sometimes you may need to explicitly build the tests. And this is something uh, I struggle with with Visual Studio Code, but it isn't usually this bad. So this is your template here. It has all the features that we talked about. We can do dependence management. We can do formatting. We have the documentation. We have testing. I don't think I have shown you the documentation. Let's see if we can build our documentation target. So you have to select it here and go to documentation and say build. And this is going to build the documentation in our build folder. If we go there, I think we can go there. So let's go in. How do we go there? We select the build folder, reveal in explore. We select build in. And if we go inside, we have an HTML folder, which you can see right here. So if we go in and hunt for the index file, we will find it here. If you double click on it, you see that our documentation is working and the documentation is working because we documented our code as we wrote it. For example, if you go in core, you see that we have the documentation here. These are the tags that are expected by Doxygen and you can find about these in the documentation. Okay, we have seen our template that uses VC package. And again, it has all these features that we talk about here. So use it if you think that VC package is your thing. Now I am going to open the template that uses Conan, but the ideas are the same. Again, it has these features. So we are using Conan for dependency management. We have our Conan file, which lists our dependencies. We have testing and this is going to be using Google test. If you want, you can easily change this to use catch too. And again, the same ideas we had with the VC package template are embedded in this project. We are using Doxygen for documentation and we don't need this Doxy file. We don't need it because we are using Doxygen add docs, which is going to manage all that dirty work for us. So this is what we have. Let's try to build the project again. I will go in the file explorer, clean this up. This is not going to go well if I am, if I have Visual Studio Code open. So I close it and open it again. And we will try to set up our presets. So view command palette, select configure preset and uh, add a new preset. Why is that? Uh -huh, because this is a Conan template, we have to do Conan install explicitly. That's a thing you have to remember. So I always forget this with Conan, but this is not a problem. So let's go to our CMake list.txt file and find the command that we need to run. We need to do Conan install and specify that we want to build the missing packages. So let's put the command here and do Conan install. 
and this is going to download and install them. This is also going to be generating our preset files as you can see here. Okay, we have a user preset file and we should have a CMake preset file in our build folder. You already know this if you have watched the video on Conan. So let's close this build folder. Now we should have the ability to configure our project. So we can look at the CMake list.txt file. The root one is what I want to look at. We are setting up our Conan toolchain, which is going to be in binary term. This is going to be the name of the file. And we can now set up our presets. We can uh, configure, we can select the configure preset, which is going to be Conan default, view command palette and select a build preset. So let's do that view command palette and select a test preset. And now we have everything configured. We can build the project, but we don't want to build the documentation. We want to build the rooster target, or we can select the old target, which is going to build everything. So let's do that. This should have built our tests also. So if we run, we will be running the rooster target, which is going to give us uh, which is going to give us our SFML window. Let's see what we are doing there because you should know why you are getting this SFML window. So let's go to the rooster target. Let's go to main and see main CPP. And you see that we have modified it to run our SFML. But if you want, you can remove this. This was to prove that we can just bring in SFML and use it. This is just a template. Again, you can modify it. We can build everything. So let's see if we can run C test this time. Okay, again, this is going to say that tests were not found. Let's see if we can build them explicitly like we did with the VC package template. So you may need to do that. So let's build, okay, and close and open this template project again. And if we look here, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see the main CPP file. Let's try to build and run C test this time. And now it's going to find them. This is really guesswork for me, but now we can find our tests and we can work with them as we want. What else? Let's look at the list of the features we were looking for. You can format your code using Clang format. You can use the documentation. We can test, we can do dependency management, and we have good integration with the editor that we use. Let's see if we can debug this project because that's a good feature I look for in my projects. So let's go in SRC main CPP and put my breakpoint here. We are going to be debugging the rooster target. So let's hit debug here. And this is going to hit the breakpoint and you can see your information on the left here. Everything is working fine. This is really all I had to share in this video, giving you a bunch of templates that you can use. We have one for Conan. We have one for VC package and you can use them as a starting point. Don't feel like you have to do everything exactly as I did. You can modify these. If you don't need the lib2, you can take it out. If you don't need the arithmetic, you can take it out. You can really tune this project to your needs. I designed these templates so that they are not too overwhelming, giving you things that will just complicate your life. This is a good starting point and you can build on top of this to have something that meet your needs. If you found this video useful, please remember to do the usual. You know what to do, right? Leave a comment, share, like, subscribe, and that's going to tell YouTube that this video is really good. I am going to stop here in this video and I will see you next time.